Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ari. I post videos on advice, lifestyle, and fashion. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. So please consider tuning into my channel and let's get right into this video. So I know I'm in a different place right now. I'm in, actually in my dorm. Um, I accidentally posted a video that's supposed to post like when this is supposed to go up so i had to hurry up and film me another video so i have one out for you guys so that is why today's video is going to be on what are the best apps for students for college students or just regular students to have on their macbooks if you have not watched my macbook unboxing i will link that down below i recently just got the macbook air i got it in the rose gold um i really love this laptop like so much i use it for so much more than just school and youtube i use it for so much stuff for the first one i'm actually going to be putting it up on the screen but for the first one it's going to be office 365 word so you're going to need to have this on your laptop just because a lot of teachers and a lot of schools use this specific like um app for this uh some people sometimes they're free sometimes they're not but on mac i know it's for free and what you get with it you get note and you get word if you go to the app store on your mac it will show like different things you have a word is just good for just like transporting everything i mean microsoft word is actually just really big in general and so um you can go ahead and you write papers and all that type of stuff but if your specific school does not have like where you have to have to have to do that um another app on here is pages so pages is like it has all these different type of ways that you can write your paper it shows you multiple ways there's you can research your paper there's a blank paper there's a essay paper like there's different like they have different formats for each paper and actually comes with the mac or you can actually if you don't have it on there you can also download it on there and it's just a good way to know like if you want to make it like a, just a newsletter or a pamphlet or anything you can make it specifically on your mac and you don't have to go and download any other app because it's already on there the next thing that is on here that i really find very very essential that i'm going to be using of course is keynote so keynote is an app on the on a Mac that lets you do presentations. You can actually do an intro on there as well, but you they have different types of presentations. You can do like a, just a simple one, or if you wanna do a more jazzy one, you can do that. You can switch up the colors. You can do all of that on this app. So if you have like a presentation you have to do at school or at like high school or middle school or in college, this is a great app for you to have because you can do all of that in there. And so for the last one and the one that I feel like is way better, if you are a person who likes to do things electronically and don't like to have like a physical planner, this app right here is going to be really good for you. It's called Numbers. So Numbers is also another app that um, Max have. Um, what it does is it has different ways for you to track things like your budgeting, your time, your travel, all of that. I've actually already started using this um, on my Mac. I'm planning on going on a trip this summer and so I wanted to help myself budget out. But you can also not just do that. I actually um, plan out some of my YouTube videos on this app as well because you can type through it. You can see where like where it's really doing. So yeah. Alright guys, so those are my four top apps for the MacBook. Um, these apps are just gonna help you so, so much in college and with all your studies and everything like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also click that bell so you never miss a video. It's so like, re. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.